CES 2014 has kicked off this week in Las Vegas, and we've been lucky enough to be on site checking out all the action. The show has been brimming with tech goodies, but the standout talk this year has been 4K again. While not the first time this new technology has been talked about, it is the first time we're getting a realistic feeling that we'll actually get content delivered on the sets now available. And first to show its wares was LG, with their previously revealed LG 105 UB9, a huge 105-inch curved TV with a 4K resolution and a movie-optimized 21 by 9 aspect ratio. And they're also expanding their curved OLED lineup, ranging from 55 inches to 77 inches. In terms of the products just behind me here, we've got products which combine OLED and ultra-high definition into one product we believe is picture perfect. And they can even upscale SD and HD content to 4K. And the all new 2014 models come with LG's brand new WebOS TV platform, along with support for 4K Netflix streaming starting with Series 2 of House of Cards this Feb. So one of the major statements here at CES was the CEO of Netflix announced that we will be receiving streamed Netflix video content in 4K in the next two months and that's a dramatic statement. Samsung 2 also had their own 21 by 9 ratio 4K UHD TV at CES and its 105 inch curved screen just looked as stunning as its LG rival. And what Curve gives you is an immersive viewing experience so there's the panoramic effect of the Curve and you feel like you're being actually almost sucked into the screen and then completely engrossed in you. So that picture quality, that's a real message in terms of picture quality. On top of that, we've actually optimised the picture quality of the screen itself. So we've got pure colour, which increases the detail that you see within the, the Curve TV. And also we've got Auto Depth Enhancer, which means that you almost get like a 3D-like effect from the TV. So actually, it's the ultimate viewing experience. And they also had a bendable 4K model that can change from a flat screen to a curved one with just the click of a button. So on the bendable uh, TV screen, uh, the concept we've shown here is through a remote. So this is your one button on the remote. You press that button and it'll go from flat to curved within a matter of seconds. And alongside Sony's own TV and mobile phone lineup, Sony used CS to talk more about their PS4 with the arrival of PlayStation Now, a clever service which allows you to stream PS3 games directly to your PS4, Vita and even Bravia compatible TVs. So we're launching on PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4, soon to be followed by the PlayStation Vita. Uh, this was in summer of 2014. And then we'll also be um, on many of the 2014 models of the Bravia TV. And sticking with gaming, NVIDIA has also announced a new processor destined for mobile devices that it says will offer better graphics than the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. The Tegra K1 features a 192 GPU, based on the same Kelper technology used in the US firm's high-end PC components. It showed the chip running Epic Games' Unreal Engine 4 with impressive results. The hope is this will help NVIDIA compete against Qualcomm and Samsung to make their chips the go-to option for mobile handsets. Intel also announced a new camera system for your PC, which acts in a similar way to Kinect. Due to its 3D nature, it's able to pick up the depth of your face and hands and made an impressive impact on their stand with the demos on show, especially in the gaming sector. So what we're showing here is different ways you can use gesture to interact with your PC. Uh, you have a couple things, like right here we've got a game where we're basically just taking your hand, the 3D camera recognizes your hand and you're able to help transport the little minions across from one side over to the other side. It's a very basic demo just to showcase what the actual camera can really do. The camera is available as a standalone purchase now, but they are hoping to have it built into machines later this year with multiple possibilities for it. A real life example could be you're in the kitchen and you want to swipe through the cookbook, you don't want to touch it because your hands are messy, all of that. It's really easy just to use gesture control. And finally, to jump into the wearable technology market, LG also announced a fitness band, the LifeBand Touch, which has a swipeable OLED display which lets you cycle between fitness information like calories and notifications. Which will actually alert you to incoming calls and messages, but also will give you feedback in terms of your exercise, whether that's distance, stepping rate, or even cholesterol level. Combined with LG's new heart rate monitor earphones, which are able to read your heartbeat via your inner ear, it'll display just how hard you're working. So the two used in tandem, we believe, are a breakthrough in our launch of wearable tech. And obviously this is just a fraction of what's on show at this year's CES. 
we're on hand getting hands-on with as many gadgets as possible, so stay tuned for more info on the show.